what's up geeks and gamers it's jeremy coming to you with another video and today this is hilarious like this is it's so easy to punch holes in these sjw arguments it's so hilarious remember when respecting women was a thing remember uh like yesterday or uh, the day before, or a few days ago, or last week. Remember when respecting women was the top priority. Respect women. Women deserve opportunities. Respect them. Believe women. 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 Respect them. Remember that? Well now, Scarlett Johansson quits trans role after LGBT backlash. How hilarious is this? So respect women until we find someone else you have to respect. That's right. That's right. Now, it's no, no, you don't need to respect women anymore. It, it, it's, it's, it's nonsensical. It's such nonsense what happens with this social justice crap. Um, they are always looking for the new victim. They are always looking for the next social group to victimize it, it's a never-ending cycle and now they're eating their own they are eating their own jesus christ <laughs> it's hilarious so it says uh u.s actor scarlett johansson has dropped out of the role in which she was going to play a transgender man following a backlash from the lgbt community the avengers star was set to play 1970s pittsburgh crime boss dante tex gill who was born Jean Gill in Rub and Tug. Um, but she was criticized by those who said the role should have gone to a transgender actor. I've learned a lot from the community since making my first statement, Johansson told Out Magazine. While I would have loved the opportunity to bring Dante's story and transition to life, I understand why so many feel he should be portrayed by a transgender person. I'm thankful uh, I am thankful that this casting debate has sparked a larger conversation about diversity and representation in film, she added. What kind of crap is this? So you're supposed to respect women. You're supposed to respect women. Women are supposed to get opportunities. Women are supposed to be represented in film. And then the moment you get a woman represented, you find another social circle to victimize, and then you demonize the woman. This is the life of a social justice wokier. This is it. It's always like this. Social justice wokiers will never stop victimizing anybody that can help highlight their wokeness. It is a never-ending cycle. And this is why we continue to laugh. We continue to point fingers. We continue to laugh and expose them because it is absolute nonsense. It is a comedy show right now. Anybody who takes these people seriously is not playing with a full deck. It is a comedy show, and we should point and we should laugh. And right now, they are they are demonizing their own. If if you truly if you truly cared about what you were saying, if you truly cared, you would look at Scarlett Johansson's star power. You would look at her box office receipts. You would look and see that. I mean, I don't have the facts in front of me, but I'm pretty sure she's probably the uh, highest grossing actress right now in Hollywood. Um, some of that you can say is part of her being part of the Avengers and things like that, but it, it doesn't matter. Her films make money. She is a legitimate star. So if you are trying to get your message out, as trans people claim they are looking to get the message out, they are looking to have more representation in media and be more accepted, then the smartest play is to have the biggest star possible to play the role in your film. And you had that. And what did you do? Instead of looking at the opportunity going, this is the best case scenario for us to have a huge star that is in the Avengers that was just in a $2 billion film, a mega star to play a role of a trans person. This will help highlight it. But what did they do? No, they are more concerned with playing the victim because they do not ever want truly what they're asking for. They will always marginalize themselves. They will always find a reason to be victimized. You had a great opportunity here and because of your wokeness, you've pissed it away because you truly don't want what you're asking for. You always want to continue playing that victim card role and congratulations, you played yourself. Yes, I went there with that meme. I don't know why, but it just came out of my mouth. So anyway, social justice wokeers, 
congratulations. Thank you for the much needed comedy. We really appreciate it. You will continue to be victimized because that is what you choose to get. You want to be victimized. So therefore, you will be. You just had an A-list star willing to play the role, giving your film, giving your social group the most attention it could have possibly gotten. And instead of taking that opportunity and being thankful for it, you, instead of respecting the women that we continue to hear that we're supposed to respect, you have played the victim and ruined any opportunity you claim you wanted because the reality of it is you didn't want those opportunities. You just want to continue playing the victim. So you will continue to play the victim and we will continue to laugh. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you later.